Hello, my name is Sherry Tangbergen, and I'm the author of the DVD, The Watercolor Gourmet Cooks for You. In this clip, I'm going to show you some texture painting techniques using watercolors. There are some great things you can use in watercolors to make texture. I like to use salt, coffee, and tea. Like you see in the bricks that I've got here, I paint the surface first, and then I sprinkle salt, iced tea mix, sugar-free, and um, sugar-free coffee to make nice texture, which then I put into my paintings by lifting out. Now, in order to show you that, the other technique that I use in my paintings quite a bit is sandpaper. And you have to have a color down first. So I made this funky little fence here, and I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper, and this is a, a light, coarse, gray to sandpaper, and I'm going to start sanding the slots on my fence. You don't have to do every fence, but just a few of them. And you can actually sand the fence first and paint it. You can paint it, then sand it like I'm doing here. Or you can sand, paint, sand, paint, sand, paint. There's all kinds of ways that you can add texture to your paintings to make them look old. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a darker color burnt sienna and I'm going to start making the slats of my fence. And I'm going to put some darker tones on here. And you see how the sandpaper makes the fence look a little bit rustic and old and like it's weathered quite a bit. So I'm going to put, pick up several different colors of brown and I may want to put a knot hole in my fence. So I'm going to take my brush pick up a darker color of brown and start putting a knot hole to show up in my fence. And by mixing blue with burnt sienna, you make a nice dark brown that will make this knot hole really show up. And so you're going to go ahead and continue painting your fence slats, putting some different lines in them to make them look like they're cracked and weathered. All right. Now with the other technique using the um, the actual salt and coffee, I go back in and I do a lifting out process where I wet a certain portion of my brick with a wet brush, and then I go back in and I remove it to get a nice texture. So those are some ideas for creating texture in watercolor. This is Sherry Tangbergen, and thank you for watching.